Today I have a very cool sequence prompt I want to show you. This prompt was designed to give you options to choose from a table when you want to improve or change a text. And it will keep a log of what changes that were made to the text. So I think you really will enjoy this one. So let's just get started. Okay, so let's start by breaking down our prompt. So you can see here we have instructions in brackets. And then I go, I have a text in curly brackets I would like to make changes to. So the instructions here is just so we can type execute the instruction later in the prompt. The next part of the prompt is generate a table of 10 different suggestions of improvements that could be related to the text with numbers in the left column of the table to pick from. So the important part here is the improvements that could be related to the text. So as we will soon see, ChatGPT is very good at coming up with these proposals that seems very logical to implement to the text. So after the table, we want the ChatGPT to ask the question, what improvements improvements would you like to make to the text? Pick one from the table above and we have below the table. So we want that question to be below the table we just generated. So since this is a sequence prompt, we want to finish up with acknowledge with dot 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 if you understand the task. Don't create a table yet because we want to feed it more information before we do that. So basically that is the prompt. Now let's see it in action. So when I click submit now, we get the dot 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 and we can go on to the next step. And that is going to be pasting in our text. You can see we have text here in curly brackets. So here is the text we want to change. This is just a bit of a snippet from the matrix. To finish off, we had also add a log of the change column. Execute instructions in a table format. So this log of change column is going to be where we can see changes that have been made to the text. And we finish off with execute the instructions. So remember we have instructions in the brackets up here and in a table format. So that is important. So let's just click submit here and see. You can see now we get this format, right? And here it comes up with a number. It comes up with suggested improvements and a change log that we can see what is going to be changed in the text. So I think this is very helpful. So we can take a closer look at this. So as you can see here now, we have 10 different numbers of changes that is suggested to improve the text. So we have clarify the relationship between free will and fate in the text. We have add more context about the Matrix trilogy, uh, expand on the role of the Oracle, and we have address any inconsistencies in the narrative, use a more formal tone. So these are some great suggestions you can improve. And if we see here on the change log, let's say we wanted to add more context about the Matrix trilogy. So here is the change that is going to be implemented. So provide a background information about the Matrix trilogy that help readers understand the context of the text. And let's check out, use a more formal tone. So this is gonna change the tone of the text to a more formal or and academic style. Very interesting. So use fewer quotes from the trilogy. So this is gonna reduce the number of direct quotes. So I think this is a very good thing if you need some inspiration to what kind of improvements you can make to a text. Let's try to implement one of those. So as you can see here at the end of the table, we have what improvements would you like to make to the text? Pick one from the table above. I want to go number three. So that is add more context about the Matrix trilogy. So then I can just go submit. And as you can see here, here we get like a much better context about the Matrix trilogy that we can Im implement to the text. Now let's try to add this to our change log. Okay, so to finish up the sequence, I just want to include a summary of improvement number three in the log of changes column in the table. Just click submit. Okay, so here we can see it added the change log to number three in the column. So provided the background information about the Matrix trilogy, included the director, the release date, the summary of the story, and the main idea of the movies to help readers understand the context. So that is very good. Let's just finish up by implement the change to the table. And there we have it. You can see our change here is been implemented in the full table. And if you want to keep improving the text now, you can just go implement the improvement number 10 to the text. 
Okay, so you can see it added a conclusion. What was number 10? Number 10 was include, include a conclusion to summarize the main points. So very good. And that is how this sequence prompt works. Now let's try to do it with a different kind of input text. So the starting prompt is going to be the same. Just click submit. We get our three dots. But now we have a different text. We have person. I don't feel good mentally. I'm anxious all the time. Can you give me some advice? Let's just hit submit. And here we have some different suggestions. So we like have, let's see here, we have mention self-care techniques such as exercise or journaling, provides practical advice, uh, other suggestions of finding a support group or community, use simple and clear language to un improve understanding, give a suggestion to focus on the present moment, encourage to the person to take small steps towards feeling better and as you can see from the the change log here we have encourages seeking help suggests seeking professional help such as talking to a therapist or counselor so let's try to implement number three here instead of number three let's go number two i think that's more interesting include a specific example of what is causing the anxiety so let's click submit here so here the person is gonna say something more about the anxiety. So I'm particularly anxious about my upcoming job interview and the thought of not getting the job. Can you give me some advice? So here we get more context, right? So let's follow that up. And then we just go include the answer of improvement number two in the log of changes. So you can see here in number two, we have added this. I'm particularly anxious about my upcoming job and the thought of not getting a job. Perfect. Now let's try to suggest some encouraged mindfulness. So that is going to be number nine. So let's just implement improvement number nine to the text. Okay, so now the text is, it added like, can you give me some advice? So one technique might, might help is to focus on the present moments and not to worry much about the future and this just automatically included that in column number nine so perfect let's try one more so let's try to implement improvement number 10 and that is gonna encourage the person to take smaller steps towards feeling better Okay, so this added a sentence. Rem remember that small steps towards feeling better are still progress. So yes, that is included in here. So yeah, I think that worked out pretty good. Now let's try to switch it up and try to use this, let's say in a poem. Okay, so we just run the prompt as before. We get our three dots. Now let's add our poem. So let's paste it here and just click enter to see what kind of changes we get. Okay, so it added the whole poem under here, but let's take a look at the table here. So we got 10 suggestions. So we have clarify the message of the poem and the stance of the future of AI. We have add specific examples, expand on the ID, address potential concerns. That was a bit strange, but here we have something better. Add imagery and figurative language to enhance the overall message of the poem. That's interesting. Uh, reorder the lines to create a more natural flow of the poem. Use a different rhythm scheme to add variety and interest to the poem. Add a final stanza or conclusion to the poem to provide closure. We gotta try that one. Edit to make the poem shorter or longer. Okay, we can try that because it's very long. Let's try to make it shorter. So let's try to implement number 9 to make it shorter. So let's just go implement improvement number 9 to make it shorter. Yeah, that seemed to work good. So we went from all of this to this. Yes, that seems good. Let's try to add this to our change log and see if that works. So let's go include what improvement has been made in the log of changes. Yes, this is perfect. So here we can see in number nine, we get this log of change. We get poem was shortened by editing out repetitive lines and focusing on the main message. Perfect. Now let's try to include a different improvement. So I think number seven here sounds interesting. Use a different rhythm scheme to add variety and interest to the poem. So let's try to implement that. So let's implement improvement number seven. Okay, so this is interesting. First off, it made it longer. <laughs> so that was maybe not my intention. But you can see here we have in this version, I have used a different rhythm scheme. A, A, B, B, C, C, D, D. 
I don't know what that is. To add more variety and interest to the poem. Okay, so that's very cool. Let's try to implement that to our change log. So include what improvements has been made in the log change. Yes, perfect. Here you can see a poem was modified to use a different rhythm scheme. And we have change number nine that was implemented before. Let's try one more time. Let's try to add imagery and figurative language to enhance the overall message of the poem. So that is gonna be number five. Implement improvement number five. Okay, I'm not gonna read out the whole text uh, or whole poem here, that's just gonna be annoying. So, in this version I've added image and figurative language to enhance the overall message of the poem, like with the metaphor of the key. Okay, interesting. Here you can see, like, with every passing day it's clear to see, AI will change humanity like a key. So that is what it implemented. So, a guiding light, a helping hand, a partner in our future, plight so grand. Interesting. Let's implement that to our log. Yes, perfect. You can see all the three changes we have made now. I kind of want to implement number 10 to add a final stanza or conclusion to the poem to provide closure. Yeah, let's make that the final one. So implement improvement number 10. Okay, so what did it add here was this final stanza, what it calls it. Never heard that word before. So I have added a final stanza or conclusion to the poem to provide closure and give a sense of purpose and direction. In the end, let us strive for harmony. Between man and machine, it's our destiny. Let us shape this future hand in hand. A world where AI and humanity stand. That was quite nice. So yes, uh, I'm not gonna implement that to a log of change now, but you can see how this works. I think this can make some good use cases. I really like it because you get this good overview of what has been changed and I think you can revert changes if you want to. So that is just gonna be revert change number seven. So very interesting. If you enjoyed this video be sure to check out the link in the description where you can sign up for my newsletter and receive a free pdf with 20 good chat gpt prompts. Also check out this video and as always thank you for watching have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.